big news has come out today in the IFL. We have two big things coming out today from the IFL. One is Stadium. Stadium is now going to stream a game of the week. Of course, you know, Stadium you can find on like several different platforms, including Pluto TV, of course. But, um, yeah, uh, it, it was very vague, you know, the actual press release, very vague about if the so-called game of the week is going to be, you know, on YouTube or not. Still, who knows? Um... I mean, honestly, it's kind of a eh type situation for me. I know most, I know some people are going to be very happy about it, but I'm just kind of meh on it. You know, stadium, where where I live at, at what conference the school I went to, you know, Conference USA, they use stadium. Nobody uses stadium to try and watch Conference USA football games. I'm telling you that right now. Nobody's really going to use stadium to try and watch some uh, some indoor football. I'm not I'm not even joking with you, do people. Ring of Honor is like the third best promotion in the United States as far as wrestling goes, and and nobody really seems to care about ROH right now. Nobody really seems to care about ROH. Like they've been lost in the shuffle right now as well. But that's a different story for an entirely different day. Stadium deal. That's great. It's great for the IFL. It's not, you know, as national as I would think, you know, as national as it would get. But it's it's good enough. It's feasible, you know. I mean, it's still mostly free. Um, I'm, I'm sure, you know, if there's cable packages that include stadium, you know, you got those and stuff like that. But I mean, yeah, it is what it is. The bigger thing is Vegas. Vegas has been rumored for several different things. But an IFL team, there's going to be a Vegas IFL team. Same guys who own the Ve- the Vegas Golden Knights. You know, the NHL team. I've been thinking about them for a while because they have a lacrosse team that could be coming. We, we've been knowing about it. We just don't have an announcement for that yet either. But Vegas coming to the IFL confirmed. Well, but there's still one thing that's still unconfirmed right now, and that's that Colorado Stampede thing I told you all about yesterday. But we do have the 18th IFL team officially. Now, there, there's probably going to be some IFL teams that aren't going to come back. There's just, there's just going to be teams that aren't going to come back. I seriously doubt we're going to keep all 18 teams. I seriously, I seriously don't think the IFL should be expanding like this, but here we are. It's 2011 again, and the IFL expanded way too quickly, and look at what happened. You know, in a span of a couple of years, they were down to six teams. They were, you know, sure, they had Sioux Falls, they had Iowa, and they had Arizona, and Green Bay. But I mean, you know, back in 2018, but I do not want to get this league back to that level again. You know, it should have been slow. Very slow expansion. That's what the IFL needed. You know, four teams was a bit too much, you know, in 2019. Because obviously, you know, you know, Bismarck wasn't that great. See Rapids, or rather, San Diego had nobody there at Pachanga Arena. And um, Tucson was great. Tucson was pretty good. And, um, oh shit, I forgot the last one. Oh yeah. Was it Quad Cities that came? Yeah, I think it was Quad Cities that came back. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, Quad Cities that came back. You know, God damn it, I don't remember. But, but at the same time, the, the what I re, what I'm really trying to get at here is that the IFL is expanding way too quickly. We done jumped from six teams three years ago to almost twenty, and Vegas is a market that has been tried and true by. By arena football, by indoor football before, and it hasn't worked. You know, it's in that it's in that Henderson area in La, around Vegas. You know, in Nevada, so that's an area that hasn't really been tapped yet. But the rest, but, but actual Las Vegas, you know, no, it, it's not it's not going to work there anymore. We all remember the Las Vegas outhauls on the AFL days. Now they got shuttered. 
you know, after like a couple seasons or was it one season? I don't remember. But that was the thing that existed. But of course, you know, the Vegas Golden Knights have a lot of money. So who knows how that's going to work. We already know that the Jermaine family has a lot of money. They have a lot of money. They have a lot of you know, insight into things now. And they take control of a lot of things now in the day-to-day -day operations of the IFL. But all this big money for the IFL and all all the stuff being announced, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. It's it's a tale. It's a cautious tale of optimism, for me, in my opinion. Because I mean, I, I just don't think the IFL should expand like this much. It should not have happened this quickly. There's no way that this league can support 20 markets right now. And plus, several of these are CIF call-ups, so what, so, I mean, there's the CIF expanding themselves, doubling in size. You know, the NAL is probably, you know, we've been saying it for months now, we've been saying it for at least a year that the NAL is going to die, but who knows what the NAL is going to do in all actuality. But, you know, concentrating on the Southwest and concentrating on the Midwest, like as you know, as the IHL's been doing, I think that's a good plan. Louisville, Louisville's probably going to be gone. There's just no way they can maintain, you know, the KFC Yum Center. Massachusetts, they have the money there to pay, so I think they'll be sticking around. I don't think, but again, I mean, I just don't think, you know, that there should be, you know, this many teams right now, you know. But I mean, it's all—it's all for the nature of the game, I guess. It's all for the nature of the game. It's, it's happened way too many times in the sport where you know, it it expands way too quickly, and then boom, like it's just—I don't—I just don't know yet. But we'll we'll find out how things work out. We'll find out how things work out. That's always the best part, finding out how how this is actually going to work. But yes, yeah, stadium is going to start up this weekend. You know the whole stadium deal. That starts up this weekend. Vegas coming in 2022. All right. That, that should do it. Hopefully, you know, I'll see you guys Thursday. We have NFL schedule stuff. You know, they're speaking of the NFL schedule. They're doing a lot of things today. You know, but I mean, we need to get this out today with the IFL and what they're doing. So I'll see you guys later. I'll take care. Have a good day.